let's get this over with. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been far too long since I've done an EDC review, and I know that many, many of you guys have requested it, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at my fall 2019 EDC. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, this is a pretty big mess, but let's make some sense of it. Throw that in there, too. So, let's start off with what hasn't changed. Okay, starting off with the guns. This is a Glock 19, obviously. And this one, I've been running for a while, of course. It's been around, just killed a grouse with it. So, it's my kind of go-to, tri tried-and-true go-to EDC handgun. And as per usual, running critical duty 9mm in the uh, magazine. So, this little 19, this little compact 19, is what I run for my EDC firearm. And lastly, for some quick notes on it, I'm carrying it in a Bravo concealment outside the waistband holster, and I'm carrying it on a click belt. So, nothing new in that whole system, including the handgun itself. So, some more stuff that hasn't changed is still running the Charge Plus. This is still being ran because it's still an amazing little multi-tool. I really like it, and there's really not much reason to change it. It does everything that I need it to do for a multi-tool of its size. Okay, so then looking back over it, we got the good old Zippo in satin finish, of course, with its little Ranger band to help keep the, uh, to help keep the vapors from just escaping. Then we got an, another paracord bracelet. This one is a newer design. Uh, not making these for sale, but I did whip up a sanctified, if I can get this camera to focus, <laughs> well, threw the, or made this up in a sanctified uh, covenant weave and it's just a really nice bracelet something different to wear kind of break up the aesthetic so other things that haven't changed i got the good old um microtech ultra tech and of course this is the dagger version so it's double-edged and once again hasn't really changed but you know just a good little otf for edc then moving over to some other instruments so got the uh, Maritac brass pen here. This, I can never remember the technical name for it, but this is just a brass pen by Maritac. And then of course I have the uh, Innova T2 flashlight because it works and yeah, I just found it, find it in my pocket a lot. So those are my flashlight and pen. So last of the stuff that hasn't really changed is I got the good old Oakley radar locks, as you guys can see there just good old sunglasses because it is a very sunny day today even though it's not very warm okay so lastly is the stuff that really has changed so starting off with the knife this is the main edc knife it's not a new knife to the uh, edc community at all but this is a spyderco paramilitary 2 and got this thing because uh, i don't have any more spydercos so i wanted to uh get something new that i hadn't used or hadn't had or hadn't carried and uh yeah, so that just so happened to be a Spyderco Paramilitary 3. So yeah, really enjoying it so far. Love this little guy, great action, super smooth. And like I said, I wanted to switch it up, so I got a satin blade with black G10. Informally, I had a Paramilitary 2 with a black DLC coated blade. So I thought this one would be a nice little mix. And like I said, I'm really loving it. Okay, so now moving over to the watch. I am carrying a G-Shock. I cannot remember the name of it, but I'll annotate it. I think it's like an 81 something, but I, this is pretty basic G-Shock. It's nothing expensive or crazy or wild. I just wanted to get a G-Shock because some of my older watches that I still love, like my Seiko and my Timex Expedition Sierra, uh, the issues with them is their bands were too small for my wrist. So what that was causing some arthritic issues whenever I would have them on me. So I would either have to keep them too loose that they wouldn't really ride right. Or when they were tightened down properly, they would just cause my uh, wrist a lot of pain. So I went over to a G-Shock because it has much wider bands. And yeah, so that's why I went over to a G-Shock. I'm not a huge fan of G-Shocks as a surprise. I know I'm an EDC one, but I'm really not a huge fan of these things because... They're just not particularly my style, but they keep time. They, you know, are day, hour, second uh, kind of clock. 
And so they're useful in a lot of ways, and I respect the G-Shock. They just weren't my personal fan until now. Kind of have to wear one because of the uh, band size on it. Or band width, I should say. Okay, so this one isn't necessarily new to the actual uh, EDC, or to my collection, but it's new for me to EDC. Uh, and this one, if my camera will ever focus. <laughs> so this one is the good old MSK by Tops. And I'm going to try to get this stupid camera to focus. So this is the MSK by Tops, and like I said, it's not necessarily new to me, but it is new to EDC, and it's definitely a really awesome little blade from the woods to from the woods to the EDC, you know, just daily life. This is a great little knife to have. So love this little guy. And of course, just rocking it in a pretty standard Kydex, or it's pretty standard Kydex G. So that is the Tops MSK. And then lastly, totally forgot this is actually not new this is just a trayvax uh summit edc or this is a trayvax summit wallet i'm not going to flip it over because of private stuff but yeah you guys see my usaa card there <laughs> i don't really care about that but anyways yeah so this is a trayvax summit so this is a, this last one is my samsung galaxy s10 and of course it is running in a Otterbox Defender. So, yeah, that's my EDC. Nothing too complicated, nothing crazy, but uh, that's just what I'm carrying. So, that's for all you guys that wanted to know uh, what my EDC looks like. Anyways, guys, God bless, and I'm out.